What's up? It's Jumpro from Ready Check Poll, and this is our quick guide to the Theater of Pain dungeon in Shadowlands. Also, here's a list of timestamps on screen and in the description so you can jump to the spot that you need. We'll start off by showing the bosses, and then we'll talk about notable trash and other things at the end. In a front of challengers is the first encounter of the dungeon. This fight is not as straightforward as your typical dungeon boss. You actually fight three bosses at the same time. You need to focus kill them one at a time because each boss uses an additional ability when they hit 40% HP, and it would be really bad to have to deal with two or even worse, three at the same time. The order in which you kill the bosses depends on the utility of your group, mass spell, soothe, etc. However, if you don't have the specific utility needed, you should use this kill order. Get Sathel to 40% first, because at 40% he'll make himself unkillable for 60 seconds. You can use Master Spell or Shadowing Throw to remove the buff, if not, you'll just have to wait it out. Once Sathel is at 40%, switch to Passerin. When he gets to 40%, he'll put a disease dot on everyone that should be removed if you're able to. Once Passerin is dead, finally kill Desia. She enrages at 40% and fixates random players. The Enrage can be removed by killing the other bosses or by an Enraged spell like Druid Soothe and things like that. And obviously, run away if you're fixated. If you can, you should use offensive dispels like Purge or Spell Steal on the boss that has Spectral Transference. It looks like a big green shield around the boss with a green beam going through it. If you can't dispel it, that boss will be continuously healed. There's also a bunch of basic abilities that aren't really worth a shout out, but you should always avoid the green stuff on the ground and spread out if you end up pulsing green stuff. Also, interrupt as many casts as possible. You can do the next three bosses in any order, so we'll just start with Gorchop. The boss will cast Hateful Strike on the tank. It's just big physical damage. Moving on. Throughout the encounter, hooks will sweep across the room. There'll be a small opening that lets you safely sneak through the hooks. A couple of adds spawn every time the hooks come through. They do splash damage and they leap to new players, so stay slightly spread while the adds are alive. Focus them down quickly and don't stand in any green pools that drop when they die. All right, on to Zab the Unfallen. You need to quickly kill the banner that spawns by the boss. It slows everyone, making it harder to dodge the next few abilities, Crushing Slam and Massive Cleave. These are very telegraphed abilities that the boss casts when he gets the full energy. They do a ton of damage if you get hit, but even worse, they make you feel really bad about yourself. Occasionally, the boss will select two DPS to duel in the pit below. The winner of the duel gets a short damage increase while the loser gets a short damage decrease. One player needs to win within 45 seconds or else both players get their damage cut in half for 30 seconds. So catch me in the pit, bro. The next boss is Coltharok. The tank needs to always be in melee range of the boss or else she'll cast a really bad dot for 12 seconds. The group needs to stay slightly spread to avoid the splash damage from Haunt, which gets put on random players. Dodge the green swirlies and avoid the green circles on the ground. When the boss starts channeling Draw Soul, the targeted player needs to quickly move behind one of the green circles on the ground so that the circle is between the player and the boss. At the end of the channel, your soul will escape your body and run straight towards Coltharok, getting caught in the green circle. You'll be pacified and will have to collect your soul in order to use abilities again. Recovering your soul also gives you a big damage buff for a while. After all that, you'll go back to the center of the dungeon and click this thing to get to the final boss, Mordretha the Endless Empress. She'll cast this giant frontal beam in a random direction that also rotates in a random direction. Mordretha will occasionally put green circles around everyone. You'll need to spread out just enough so that each circle doesn't hit another player, but you'll want to make sure that the circles are as close together as possible. This is because an ad gets spawned from each player when the circle expires. Interrupt, CC, and focus kill these ads quickly. Occasionally, the boss spawns a big green swirly rift at an edge of the room that will drag you towards it if you're too close. Just stay away from the rift to avoid very bad things happening. Oh, hey, before we do the boss recap, if you like this video, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's what allows us to make sweet guides like this one. So let's recap the bosses quick. In a front of challengers, they each get a new ability at 40% health, so try to avoid getting all of them at once. Mass Dispel and Enrage Dispelling abilities are awesome in this fight. Also, run away if you get fixated. Gorchop. Dodge the sweeping hooks by finding the safe openings. Stay spread and focus kill the adds. Zav. Kill the banner, dodge the telegraphs, and good luck in the pit. Coltharok. Tanks stay in melee range. Everyone needs to avoid green circles. When targeted with draw soul, run behind a green circle to trap your soul and then run into the circle to retrieve your soul. 
Mordretha, avoid the beam, don't get dragged into the rift, get as close as you can with the green circles while still avoiding being hit by another player's circle, interrupt, CC, and focus kill the adds. We also got to mention a few notable mobs. Rancid Gas Bag, dodge the vile eruption cast. It's a cone breath in front and behind the mob. We call it the burp fart combo. Ancient Captain, focus down this mob. It reduces your AOE to nearby enemies by 50% and interrupt its demoralizing shout cast which reduces all of your damage by 50%. Shackled Soul, be careful not to pull too many of these mobs. They do a ton of damage to random targets and their channel also slows you, making it more likely to get hit by the green swirlies. Interrupts and AoE CCs help a lot with these mobs. When you get to the green portals, you have to kill a portal guardian and then pick up the swirly green orb it drops when it dies. You then take it to one of the orb holders in front of the portal, putting it in the one on the left or the right corresponding to whether you want to go left or right with the portal. You can figure out the direction by looking ahead to locate the next portal. Bone Magus. So you see the bone spear cast or dodge the spear that gets launched forward. It'll probably knock you off the platform to your death. Nefarious Dark Speaker. Interrupt the Necrotic Bolt Volley cast to avoid the damage it does to the whole group. And that's our quick guide to the Theater of Pain. I really need to take a second to thank all of our subscribers and Patreons who support us. The kind gesture helps us so much. Also, let us know if these guides are helpful in the comments below or in the Ready Check Pull Discord. Links to our streams and everything else in the description. Love you all. Peace.